Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. In our today's video, we will be using Aspen Heises to simulate a heater and the problem statement which is given to us is data feed whose properties include the vapor fraction as 0, pressure of 200 kPa, flow rate of 1000 K mol per hour and the molar composition of methane as 0 0.9, ethane as 0 0.05, propane as 0 0.04 and butane S.01 is fed to a heater block. In heater, we have to increase the temperature of this feed stream to 20 degrees centigrade while the pressure drop in this heater is 10 kPa. So we will go to the Aspen Heises and we will simulate these conditions. But before going to the Aspen Heises, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So in Aspen Heises interface, first we will add our required components. To click on this add, there are four components, methane, ethane, propane, butane. Once we enter, we have got all the components. Since it's a hydrocarbon system, so we will use equation of state property package. And in equation of state, we will use the fluid package as the Peng Robinson. And you can see both component list and fluid package are now okay there is no issue in it and now we can go to the simulation environment in the simulation environment this is our heated block so we will click on it and we will paste it over here and we will double click on it and let's first rewrite or rename it as heater inlet we will specify it as inlet this is outlet so these two are the material streams which are labeled as blue and in red, it is the energy stream, so E heater, which is supplied to this heater to increase the temperature of our mixture or the feed. Going to this worksheet, we will first define the properties. We have been given that vapor fraction of this feed stream is zero. The pressure is 200 kPa. The molar flow rate is 1000 K mol per hour. And in composition, the composition of methane is 0.9. For ethane, it is 0 0.05. For propane, it is 0 0.04. And for butane, it is 0 0.01. So now you can see here that the total is now 1 and the composition basis is mole fraction. So click on this OK. And if you see here, the color of this inlet stream is changed from light blue to dark blue. Once it changed to dark blue, it means all the required properties of this stream are defined. Now we have to define the pressure drop and since we know that the pressure drop is 10 kPa so one of the way of doing it is go to the design in parameters you specify the delta P which is 10 kPa or another way is to define 190 here so both of these are applicable. Now we have been given that the outlet temperature is 20 degree centigrade so we just enter 20 degree centigrade and you can see the bar has turned green once it turned green, it means it has converged, it has simulated. Now you can see that the heat flow or the heat flow rate required for the system is 1.53 into 10 raised to power 7 kilojoule per hour or 3.657 into 10 raised to power 6 kilocalories per hour or 1.45 into 10 raised to power 7 BTU per hour. So this is the heat which we need to provide in order to take the temperature from minus 151.2 which is calculated from S1 based on the vapor fraction and pressure conditions and obviously the composition conditions and now we have increased from minus 151 to 20 degrees centigrade. Similarly, if you come to this design tab, you have been given the duty over here, the delta T over here. So this is how a heater block is simulated in S1 ISIS. I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. That's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.